Sir Isaac Newton was much more than a physicist. Some of his maths are amazing too. Subscribe now to the History of Maths and the YouTube channel What Makes It Tick. During our journey through mathematics, we already met some geniuses. Pythagoras, Aristotle, Descartes, Galileo. This video is about Newton. He said himself, I built my sign on the shoulders of giants. Newton, of course, is just another giant. Newton is famous for his discovery of the gravity law and also he studied light. And, but those people were really multi-dimensions. And in mathematics, Newton wants to solve or to find an easy way to calculate a plus b to the power of something. So, let's start a plus b to the second power square. There is an elegant graphic solution to that. Let's build a square and each side is built with a plus b, a plus b. You build the square and you can organize the square in four pieces. A little square here, a square, a bigger square here b square and two rectangles. The two rectangles have the same surface, a times b. So the answer to the question, a plus b to the second power is equal to a square plus twice a b plus b square. Now let's do it for the third square. There is no visual possible because you should do that in three dimensions. But believe me, the answer a plus b to the third power will be something with a third plus plus b third. And if you look at the coefficients, you find one, three, three, one. You remember the first one? One, two, one, now one, three, three, one. And so Newton connected his problem, the a plus b, to a triangle named, I don't know why, Pascal's triangle. And the triangle is built this way. You t start with one, and each digit is the sum, each number is the sum of the two upper digits. One, two, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one. And this connection between Newton and Pascal gave immediately a solution to his problem a plus b to the n power, because you just need the nth line. And this triangle has lots of properties. For example, each line, if you sum the numbers of the line, you have a power of two. Let's take line number four. One plus four plus six plus four plus one is equal to 16. And 16 is two to the fourth power. And this formula designed by Newton was a tremendous breakthrough in probability. Why? Because imagine an experiment with two outcomes. Three chances of 10 to get this result, seven chances out of 10 to get that result. The sum of the probability must be one. Three on 10 plus seven on 10 is equal to one. Now let's take those two numbers and you put in the formula of Newton. And of course you have three on 10 plus seven on 10 to the nth power. It's one to the nth power is always one. And that's how you can easily connect his work of Newton to the science of probability and what we call those curve of distribution curves. Did you know that it's faster to travel a cycloid than a straight line? Find out more in the next episode of our series, The History of Mars. Subscribe now and follow The History of Mars in the YouTube channel, What Makes It Tick.